What's going on everybody? It is your boy QuestX coming back at you once again with another video. And let's talk Walking Dead mid-season finale. And uh, I checked my Twitter account and here is the Walking Dead Twitter. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, the whispers have arrived. Um, I'm almost positive now that we will see uh, one, if not many, whispers um, in this episode. Uh, I'm also... Just based on what I was said in my prior video about The Walking Dead and how I was uh, very, very wrong about Angela Kang and how she took over the the writing and, uh, you know, whether I had enough faith in her um, to course correct what Scott Gimple had done in the prior seasons. She's done a phenomenal job in the last couple episodes. Um, I told you guys that I'm really digging the horror theme of this season. Rightfully so, uh, preparing us for the Whisper of War. And um, yeah, I think. Okay, so we know that from the trailer, we're going to see. Um, it, I believe that most of the episode is going to take place in the field. Um, we've seen some of the previews where you see um, Jesus, Daryl, uh, and others are pretty much, and Aaron are pretty much watching this herd and they are saying how the herd just doesn't seem like a normal herd. Um, obviously spoiler alert for those who read the comic books, for those who knows what's coming, clearly it's the whispers. It's not just an ordinary, there, they are dead walkers there, but, uh, I want to think, uh, or I want to assume that a majority of them are whispers. And we know that, um, uh, there's from many of the stills that have been released, we see Jesus, uh, we see Aaron, um, and we see Daryl along with Dog. <laughs> How original. They named the dog Dog. <laughs> but isn't that just like Daryl? So we see them in the field. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take an, an assumption here. I think we're going to lose two people tomorrow night. Um, I noted, I'm not going to spoil it for a lot of people. Uh, you can just go to the Spoiling Dead fan page and see. Um, there's plenty of people who do YouTube videos on uh, on The Walking Dead. But I can tell you that everyone who's been talking about this major character who's going to go, I think we're going to lose two characters. Um, and I think we're going to lose two characters because... Uh, just some of the things that people have been talking about. Some of the producers have been talking about how the whispers, when they're introduced, they're gonna like it's gonna be a shock and all. It's gonna have people's mouths open. People are gonna be terrified. Um, I think I, I had read one quote where someone said that it's gonna be more like the the red wedding. Okay, the red wedding, the entrance of Alpha, the leader of. I'm telling you guys. Uh, Look, for, I'm thinking tomorrow is going to be a very brutal and very scary night. Um, and it's something that I think that this will be the test of Angela Kang. Can she reel in enough, uh, reel in those fans that walked away? Okay. Because like myself, I didn't give it a chance. I, I basically walked away after Rick uh, left the show, after Rick Grimes' character is effectively gone from the show in the series. And, you know, by chance, I ended up sitting up there saying, hey, let me give it another shot. And, you know, I lost the bet. Can she create such a buzz with this midseason finale that she basically brings more people when they do the when they go off from their break? Because as we know, The Walking Dead always goes for, goes away for a break, comes back in February. And uh, I'm I'm not going to lie, man. I'm excited because this these uh, villains, either other than the governor, are the ones that I've been waiting for for a very long time. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Again, like I said, I'm not going to give it away. Everyone has talked about this one character who, on the Spoiling Dead page, uh, fan page, it's been, I guess, pseudo-confirmed. We don't know this, but there is there will be a major death tomorrow night. Um and I'm just going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you who, because that's not who I, what I do here on my, my channel. I'm going to tell you it is somebody who is in that field fighting. Um, 
But I also think the shock is going to be a second character because what it, it just it, the the fact that spoiling dead fans have already released this that major spoiler, and then considering the fact that they were able to because let's be real how Angela King handled the end of Rick Grimes. However pissed off I am about Rick Grimes being gone off the series. They kept the majority of that episode under wraps. We had no idea. Even some some of the leaks that were that were happening leading into that episode, there were still some parts that you hadn't seen or, or had been released. So I think Angela Kang might have a have a have a, you know might be tossing us a curveball here. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited about the Walking Dead Missy's Valley tomorrow? I know I am. Um, and like I said, uh, I, 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 shit, um, th these are the villains guys that I've been waiting for. It's your boy quest next. I'm out.